Gotta relax. This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. Hmm. Human music. I like it. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Hello, ladies and gentlefish. We are back here again, making the arts, doing the art things. Hello, Lizzie Bell. Love. Uh, here we go. Oh, bees. Bees and hearts. All right, so apologies for doing this a little late. Um, it's now eleven in the PM. Um, you can talk; it's fun. Um, Lizzie Bell is here. She's in the background. We're having our drinks night, our usual Friday night drinks. I have paused briefly from Friday night drinks so that I can do this for you guys. Um, I was going to do it earlier in the day, but I was just too conked out after um, a whole week worth of teaching. So I'm now drinking to take the pain away. <laughs> uh, so this was yesterday's Drawtober entry. We did Pebble. We did a lovely uh, memoriam to um, a beautiful, uh, kind soul who is no longer with us. Um, and we are moving on to Sweet, which is our next one. Today's entry is Sweet. So, um, I had a couple of ideas for this. The first one was, um, like, candies. But I wasn't sure if I liked that very much. And then I was like, sweet buns, maybe? Um, which is an option. Which is a thing we could do. Uh, but if I was going to do that, I would want to make them look slightly more interesting. Um, then I was like, well, why not, like, a maple syrup or honey kind of thing? And then I was like, no... The correct answer here is bees. So, we're gonna do bees. Hey. This stream is sponsored by Lizzie Bell. She's definitely human. <laughs> Which is perfect timing because bees! Um, so we're going to do bees. I think what I'm going to do is um, a little bee on, um, like, a honey pot. So I'll do, like, a, I'll do like a honey pot, and then I'll do um, one of those honey... Okay, good night. ...boop things. Whatever that... Good night. Hey, self-care. Um, and... That's, that's sort of the plan. That's the general gist of what we're going to be doing. So, we'll work on that. Um, and, then a, and then a nice bee on the top, just kind of having a little treat. Um, so, that's that's today's plan. Let's see how how quickly we can get through that. I am, I am, was currently, or was previously this evening, um, drinking and playing... Book of Travels, which I am loving at the moment. It is amazing. Um, it comes out on Monday the 11th. So you've only got a couple of days left. Um, you can check it out on Steam. Um, I would, if you're into like different sorts of games, games that are a little bit more um, like free form, a little more open world, um, I would advise checking out this game. It is definitely not like your average shoot 'em fighty type game. 
Um, there is fighty elements, there is, you know, world-exploring elements, but there's not really quests. There's not a clear line of what to do. Um, and the stories that exist in there currently are, are still sort of... It's, a, it's in beta, so it's still being worked on. Um, if that's your jam, if you like these kinds of weird um, indie-type game titles, you should definitely give it a look. You're my jam. Oh, you're my jam. You're my honey. Oh. <laughs> Silly. Might be. Um... But yeah, so I'm re I'm really enjoying it. Um, if if you uh, if you get it and are also enjoying it once it's in uh, once it's in open beta because it's currently currently in closed beta um, for the people who kickstarted it. Um, but if you enjoy it once it's in open beta, um, I am considering doing a stream run where we get a group of people together because the server size is seven you can only have seven people in a server at once but it is multiplayer um or or sort of semi co-op um what i'm what i'm considering doing is grabbing a bunch of people um and filling a server with just our peeps um and then exploring the world together all going together because there's a whole bunch of things that you need multiple people for um, they're called endeavors, and they're like they're they're the kind of the quests of this of this game. They're the they're the challenges that you need to do, and they reveal things about the story. They give you special items. Um, there's a there's there's a whole system in there, um, but it requires cooperation. And part of the game is that you can't actually communicate with each other except with these like standard emoticons that like pop up above your head, um, which is a very interesting and cool system. Um, but if people wanted to do that, if they were keen, we would play a game together. Um, so if that's something you want to do, that would be open to literally anybody who has the game and is on our Discord. Um, probably what we would do is I would have the Discord running, I would have the stream going, um, and, and I would say that if you want to chat about anything in the game that's not just, hey, look at this thing, it looks interesting. Um, then you have to use the in-game emoticon system, um, just because I think it would be more fun that way. Um, and then for, you know, everything out of the game, shit talking and the usual, um, we'll, we'll use the Discord. So if that sounds like something you'd be keen on, uh, do let us know. You can, you can PM me, you can let us know in the chat in Discord. Um, Because I want to give that a go. I want to see how that, how that do, how that do. All right, that's not looking terrible, which is good. I've had to do a whole bunch of um, art this week on top of my prompts because I've been at school. I've been doing a lot of like drawing for the kids in the class um because i'm an art teacher um and that's what i'm doing currently that's the that's the position i'm currently in um at this school that i'm helping out with for six weeks um and um i in the process of teaching people how to do things um you have to sort of demonstrate techniques and abilities and good. Um, and so one of the things that I have had to do a lot of this week, um, that I usually don't have to do as much of is, um, is a lot of like redrawing the same thing for multiple classes, um, and redrawing a lot of stuff, um, sort of over and over again, uh, which gets a little tedious and a little taxing. Um, but, uh, it also means that I'm a little drawn out which is terrible, because doing Drawtoba and drawing something every single day, on top of already having to draw every single day, it's a bit... Uh... But I did a great eye with, um, with whiteboard markers today. 
I was so proud of it, and then I had to rub it out because I had to like do a demonstration of another technique. I we were doing um, stippling. We we're talking about the difference between stippling and pointillism, um, and how you use stippling to um, as as one way to develop tone. Um, in in just like simple artworks. So we're looking at like geometric forms and how you and how you turn them into um, more complex shapes. Um, so like turning a circle into a sphere or turning a cube into like an actual three-dimensional object on a page, turning it just from an abstract shape into like an actual form that seems to have space and mass and stuff. Um, and the... The kids just weren't getting it as I was sort of describing it to them and sort of showing them a little bit on one side of the board because I'd spent like 15 to 20 minutes filling one side of the board with just this eye for the last class because um, I had a year nine class and we were doing um, realism work um, and looking at eye studies. Um, and, uh, and so I'd spent <laughs> this like ages i mean comparatively ages to like how much i would actually put on a, a a project that is just a demonstration um and uh and then the kids just weren't getting it and they were like oh no no, no it's not you know it's not working i don't understand blah, blah blah and i'm like okay cool well i'll do another I'll do another example on the board so that you can see. And then I didn't have enough space. And I was like, oh. And then started rubbing it out. And I was like, oh. And then all the kids are like, oh my god, what are you doing? That was amazing. Don't rub it out. And I'm like, well, I need to show you this thing. And there's no other space. So I'm just going to have to fucking do it. Um, so that bummed me out. Because I didn't get a chance to like take a picture of it beforehand. Um, so I can't show you guys, unfortunately. But if I have that year nine class again, because we're going to have to continue doing eye studies for a couple of lessons, um, I might redo it and uh, and put it in the Discord. But I was really proud of it. I was really happy with it. it turned out great. Oh, I love her. Lizzie Bell is struggling in the background. I was struggling very silently. No one needed to know. Well, I'm going to call you out on stream. Why would you do that? Because I love you. So you're going to call me out on stream? Yeah. Doesn't seem very loving. I want to. I want you to be involved in in all of my things, or something. Thanks. You're welcome. So I'm going to test out this technique of, um, of having like shadowed wings to make it look like they're flapping or fluttering in this case, because Sibby. This might actually be a really quick work to finish. Um, if I don't add too much extra detail to this, uh, and I will add some, some extra stuff, but probably not too much. I don't want this to be too detailed of a thing. I've done a lot of detailed works uh, over the past couple of days. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty done out today. I'm tired, just wanna chill. I was actually considering postponing today um, and, and just doing it later. I have postponed my tattoo stuff. I'm sorry, um, that that is just going to be a thing. The tattoo stuff takes way longer to set up than I thought it would, and I don't have the space set up at the moment to just leave it there, ready to go. Um, so I can't, like, I would love to have the extra space able to do that, but I, I just don't at the moment. So um, that essentially means that I have to pack up and then bring out every single time um, all the stuff that I want to use 
Um, and so there's not a whole lot of point in me um, uh, in me doing it every single day. So what I'm going to do instead is do um, is pre-do a bunch. So over the weekend I'll do a whole week's worth and then I'll release them on the day um, and then we'll go back and the next weekend do it again. Um, which is not ideal, but the solution to that or the sort of opposing side to that is I'll stream it um, so that people can watch me actually making it. Not all of them, but like I'll stream a couple and then do a couple on my own. Um, so if you're keen to see those, That'll be happening tomorrow and probably Sunday. Um, so keep an eye out. My Lizzie Bell in the back, yeah, just you looking so beautiful. She's all done up for our Friday night drinks. And everyone else has gone to bed. And everybody else has gone to bed except us. Because they're pikers. Actually, some of them have gone to, like, play games and unwind. Which is fair, I understand that. But. Also. Pikers. So I've had a few people follow me since I've finished streaming. Um, and I need to check them out. I keep forgetting to do it until I am actually on Streamlabs and, and see their name. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's a thing I was supposed to do. So I will get around to having a look at people's stuff. Um, relay. I need to check out your stuff if you're watching this on VOD or if you're in the chat at the moment. Um, haven't got around to doing that yet because I've been super busy with work. Here's a thing, A. So I'm, I'm a casual teacher and basically what that means is you turn up, you do work that's given to you, um, but you do a lot more work every single day than a regular teacher would do because a regular teacher instead will be doing you know planning and management and reporting and calling parents and you know all, all the th all the th all the other things that come with teaching the shitty admin stuff um there is still a lot of shitty admin stuff to do as a casual teacher but there's usually significantly less of it and the, and then the counter to that is that you um that you teach more lessons you're actually in the classroom more often um, and you get paid a little bit more because you're technically working more and then also because you are, um, because you also don't have any like benefits. You don't get paid days off. You don't get sick leave. You don't get, um, any of the medical benefits or things like that. It's like you're on your own pretty much. Um, and for teachers in particular, um, casual means um, there are periods throughout the year where you literally just cannot work. Um, so school holidays, um, if you're in lockdown, for example, there is just no work. That you, there's no way around that as a thing. So you get paid extra as compensation for that period where you can't be working and because you work more when there is work. Um, but because the teacher I'm replacing is very, very sick at the moment, um, they haven't been able to leave any work. So I'm also doing all the reporting and planning and all the other shit as well. So I'm basically doing two jobs for the price of one. And it sucks. I am very used to that in this career. Um, but but it never gets better. Yeah, it's never fair. It's never fun. It is always frustrating and annoying. Um, so if you ever hear a teacher complaining about things like that, uh, that's why. Because essentially we get paid to do a job 
and then we get given two or three other jobs on top of that to do, usually. Um, usually someone else's job or um, like just making our own job significantly harder. Um, and this happens in a lot of industries. We're not, we're not, you know, by no means are we the only ones that this is the case. Um, so this is, this is not me trying to say that it's harder for teachers. Um, I think teachers in general don't have it too terribly, but there is a lot of shit that goes on in teaching careers. Um, that is not comparable in other industries. Um, there's a lot of like abuse that we have to deal with that's pretty unique to our industry. I think the only other industries that would be close in that kind of same idea would be um, maybe parts of retail, though it's a little bit less directed and like some medical industries in which, you know, parents of children or children of aged parents um, would get particularly aggressive. That is absolutely a thing that happens with children of aged parents. Yeah. Um, so that, that, that would be the case in which a similar thing would happen. Um, and it sucks when it happens in those industries too. Is that so? Cliff. I just put my arm down. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful day slash morning slash evening slash whatever it is for you. It is very late in the evening here. It's almost morning. It's just about to type up. <laughs> hey. You can still type it if you want. Um, I have oh, you sure do. Ba, 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 da, ba. Oh, is my music not running? This whole time? my smooth jazz. You can tell I'm tired because this whole time I didn't even realize there wasn't music playing. <laughs> there must be something bad going on. But this is a slightly better school at least um, than my previous ones. Um, so I am happy to put it with this one for the money. Um, just while we're getting funding to get a house um, and then once um, something more aligned with the kind of careers I want to get into um, comes up I will swap to doing that instead tattoo apprenticeship or if the stream thing kicks off much more um, but at the moment I, I need the more consistent and significantly larger income um, that uh, teaching can provide and significantly larger is just more than you know small amounts of twitch monies or like no money from an apprenticeship <laughs> tattoo or like retail which pays I don't know half a quarter of what I would make is like smudging a lot today. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I might need to buy an anti-smudge thing. Um, like a drawing glove. They're absolutely a thing. Um, I've never had one before because I've, I usually work in pen and I usually don't 
worry too much about smudging a page. Just because it doesn't really matter. But my hands are, I think, my, it, I think it said they're oily at the moment. So they're like picking up, picking up a lot of this, um, which is frustrating. I am going to rub it all out so it doesn't actually matter in the end. Hey! Nice facial features. Thank you. Um, how you doing, buddy? I was just saying before, I, I because of work, I haven't had a chance to look at your stuff yet, but I'm I'm still super keen to do that. Um, so I'm I'm trying to remember. Actually, I put it on my list. That's what I'll do. That will help me remember the things. Uh, watch relay. There was another thing I needed to do. What was the other thing I needed to do? I need to set up something ahead of time. Oh, that's it. I need to look at the followers. Uh, yeah, look at followers. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lizzie Bell. For gifting a sub. You're doing well, you're just building your Unity project for tomorrow's Inkathon. Oh, exciting. What time are you streaming tomorrow? Do let us know. Um, because I'll be keen to see that. Um, and depending on when it is, um, I'll either... I'm gonna try and start at 10 a.m. I will not be awake for 10 a.m. But I I will endeavor to uh will endeavor to wake up around then to try and catch some of the stream at least. I'm just on try. If you're not ready, you'll start at eleven. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and how long are you planning on going for with it? Because you're doing is this the one with the um mashup prompts um that you have like. What did you say it was? Like a minute or five minutes or something? At least two hours. Okay, yeah. I'll be able to catch some of your stream. That's good. I mean, I don't plan on it, but... <laughs> see what happens. I could wake you up at 10 a.m. I really want to be awake at 10 a.m. I don't think I do, but like... Mm, it's up to you. I want to catch the stream. If I don't catch the stream, I'll definitely watch the VOD, because... Three minute speed drawings with one minute rest between. Yeah, cool. That's that's what it was. Um, I love that idea as a concept. I do um, I do with my kids um, art a day, um, which is a five minute speed drawing based on um, a visual prompt. So they can either copy the design or they can come up with their own. Um, and they're usually just my artwork. So like I'll have um, one of my cards. Um, yeah, examples here. Let's pull some examples out. Um, so stuff like this. I mean, not not those ones. <laughs> the more the more appropriate ones, usually. Uh, the fishy. We do the fishy. We do the eyes. Um, we do the cactuses. We do the palm tree. We do the bathroom door. That kind of stuff. Um, so we do that in class, um, as like a, as a, um, simultaneously a settling activity and then also a like, get you into the art mood thing, like get the creative juices flowing. Um, and, uh, that seems to work really well. The five minutes is a great, um, time period I've found. It's just enough time to like, get a really good, decent amount of detail and shading in. Um, for for kids at least um but for someone who um has some drawing skill um already some like solid illustration skills already you can actually do a decent amount of stuff in five minutes um if you really push yourself with it yeah yeah re it builds confidence it builds um an understanding of like shape and form and how to work with like negative space and working with um, uh, 
and working with your forms and lines um, to build your structure really quickly um, and really solidly. Because you can do a lot with just a few lines. Uh, but you have to learn how to do that and you have to become confident enough in those lines to, to do that and then leave it. To sort of say, okay, here's a suggestion of a thing and then be like, it's good, it's done. Um, which I don't think many people get to that point. I think they sort of start with an understanding of how that works, like how the... Um, how versatile a line can be um, and how how well you can build shape in that way and then and then they sort of fall back on trying to overdo it with more and more lines or more and more shapes and forms I say that whilst putting too many lines and shapes and forms into my works <laughs> so I know I'm a hypocrite Yeah, yeah, that's that's another good one about it. Um, expressiveness comes through a little bit more. Um, I love um, trying to get people to um, to do works only in like pen in biro um, because the size of your lines tends to be how you differentiate your um, shading and structure and your and your textural techniques. Um, because most people can't get the really light um, sort of almost pencil strokes out of a pen. It's quite a difficult technique to learn. So that's a good one that I like to do. Get people to draw in pen until they're uncomfortable with it. Because <laughs> people, most people don't ever really get comfortable drawing in pen. So you just do it until they're so uncomfortable that they're like, I have to go back to pencil now. <laughs> Which is fair. But I've always appreciated a good pen drawing. You grew up drawing with ballpoints? Yeah. Carpal tunnel in your hand. Oh, I dread that kind of shit. Cause I just know it would it would like I don't know if it would ruin an artistic career, but uh, but it'd be well on the way to doing that. Like if I got carpal tunnel. Um, or any sort of significant hand injury or wrist injury. I don't know how I would be able to like tattoo for multiple hours on end. I don't know how I'd be able to draw for multiple hours on an end. And that's basically just what art is. You were saying so. Let's prevent you from getting carpal tunnel or other hand injuries. Yep. Lots of uh, Do the right exercises. Lots of exercises, lots of rolling hands. <laughs> I need to uh I need to clean up my um my erasers. They're just covered in bleh. Just hate doing it. Always seems like a waste. Uh you grew up drawing Bova, do you own stop because of Capitano? You just switched to fountain pens. It didn't slow you down. Yeah, tattooing is something different to just drawing. It's there is there is extra bits to it that, uh, that you have to be mindful of. Um, but I'm enjoying it so far. The little bits of it I managed to do myself. Um, fountain pens are fun. Um, I've not gotten particularly good yet with like fountain and cal calligraphy pens. Um, but I do intend to. I've got a very nice one that my dad bought for me and Lizzie Bell for our wedding. Um, we were supposed to sign with it actually at the wedding and we didn't end up using it unfortunately, which is kind of sad, but we have it now. So I'm gonna end up using it for art and I'm going to, once I have practiced with it enough, get Lizzie Bell to use it as well because I'm gonna encourage her to do some writing with it. And then it will be a creative pen for both of us. 
Took a bit to get used to, but the best thing is about it, the how they write without any pressure. Yeah. Yeah, I have, um... I've done a little bit of work with them, but not nearly enough. Um, and I've noticed the stuff that I have done with them um, is, is, is good. So it creates interesting smooth lines that I otherwise couldn't really get without, without significant effort and work. Um, and depending on what type of pen you use, like what type of fountain pen or nib or whatever, like more of a quill type thing, um, you can get some really interesting calligraphy uh, techniques and and, uh, and patterns out of it, like working with line width and strength and how much ink you put down just by like how much pressure you put down is, is a good thing. Which is different from the kind of biro stuff that I do at the moment, which is a little more rough, 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 rough shot. Does it make you feel super fancy? Yes. Yes, they do. Which is always good fun. Anything to make yourself feel more fancy um, is, is good in my books, I say. Alright, let's just clean this up a little. Um, and then we're going to come in here with markers and finish this up. This is just going to be a quick one because um, I'm pretty tired. Uh, actually, it's already been 40 minutes, so we're going to probably hit the hour mark. And then I think we're going to be getting there. So far, the test run you've had, Prompt Pairs, Soft Donut, mm, and Disgusting Horoscope. Hey. I want a soft donut now. I'd love a soft donut. Um, and I'd also like to hear a disgusting horoscope, I think. So we're going to do our little B. Um, I think I want a little bit lighter, maybe caramel for the honey. Yeah, that's the right color. Honey. No, maybe a little lighter. Right, I'll do the I'll do the base. Oh, that's what it is. It's pulling up the ink. Um, I have I have alcohol markers, um, and they and they interact with the ink in my pen. It's kind of annoying, but it can lead to some interesting things. Draw a person vomiting while reading a newspaper. Fair. That is that is one. I see. I always. I don't know why this is, and I, th I think it's just that it's like, it's the same kind of people, but I always link horoscopes to like tarot cards. I know they're different things, but like the association in my mind is so closely kept that like whenever one comes up, I'm like, oh yeah, you just like put in a, put in a tarot card. That's a horoscope. That's how that works. <laughs> So that was my caramel. I'll do cadmium down the bottom just for a little extra. Yeah, there we go. A little extra uh, shading. Oh, I hope <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see who's uh, who's still streaming at the end of this, so that we can raid into. But if uh, if James is streaming, James B Barrow, um, it, it would be the perfect stream to raid at the moment. Having just done a B drawing, uh, he would be ecstatic over that, um, and that would be fucking adorable. So that's super tempting now to just. Go and raid him. 
<laughs> they have very similar practice using some outside measurement to tell your fortune yeah yeah div divination in that style um you know outside force um usually linked to some aspect of personality and then uh I'm pretty sure that uh, that quite a few of the um, the horoscopy type people are probably actually just doing tarot readings for the horoscopes that they make. That would not surprise me in the slightest. He would. He'd love that. It'd be so good to see his adorable face light up as he could bees in his British accent. Oh, he's a gem, that man. All right, we're going to start with a brown base um, for our B, um, just so that as I go over it with... Um, go over it with some greys, it'll... Um, it'll mat out a little, but we still have a sort of a vibrant color behind it. Uh, might have gone too dark with this at the front here, but I think that's probably all right. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do the coloring for this pot. To figure that out. Uh, is that too light? No. Cool. always reminds me of um, Disney the, the start of um, or it might be the end of that song yeah it was the end of that song it's got this like da -da 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 and I'm like mm, yeah family and pageant oh god <laughs> do you do you in that instance go um, the the really terrible um, uh, families that like clearly clearly couldn't win a thing when they were younger and so they like push their kids to be you know like pageant winners and you know athletic sports people do you go down that awful route or do you go down the idea of family as like a showcase of like how awesome people are I don't know, I think, I think I'm just feeling cynical today. Living vicariously through their kids? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just think families are legendary. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. That, that kind of, like, the... You know, pretend, right. pretending to be something you're not, pretending to be better than you are, all that kind of... All that kind of business. I mean, that's not every family, but it's... True. More often than not, I guess? It's enough family. It's enough to be a problem. It's enough to be a cliche, I think. <laughs> Probably draw a family photo and they're all wearing sashes and flares. Yeah, that'd be a good one, actually. Not too full on, but still sort of showing the idea. You have to draw the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. Yeah, with only th with only three minutes, you really don't have the thinking time. Like, even just coming up with that second and third idea would have been three minutes. Craziness. You're a crazy man.
don't mind this pot in grayscale, actually. Maybe if I um, add a little bit more of this... Um, lighter gray to it. What's this? Uh, buh -buh. Warm gray number one. If I add more of this to it, and then we go over it again with the darker on the edges. Um, the darker blue, the darker grays, warm grays. It's interesting that there's not a cool gray in here. Anyway. Um, that might actually be the trick with this. What's this? Warm gray number three. There you go. So we jump from one to three. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Just a little bit more depth of color into it. That's happy making. good you did a test because the progress bar is still messed up it looks like you positioned it against the side of the screen instead of relative to the screen width so it moves when windowed a hey, slow hippie slow hippie would be a good one i'm imagining like a sloth that's like all stoned out a sloth with a, a flower crown holding up a peace sign yeah I think they can. I think stream can hear you. If not, they'll let us know. You can hear the background voice, very good. Yeah, hey. definitely that with full bloodshot eyes. Um, so that background voice is Lizzie Bell. She is my beautiful wife. I just can't be bothered to type. Yeah, she's, uh, she's in the chat um, with us. She's also here in person having some whiskey. It's delicious. It is. It's she's... Delicious. Mm -hmm. You haven't guessed your second whiskey yet. You guessed uh, the Starwood. You haven't guessed what I've mixed it with. We play a game um, on our drinking nights um, where I will pour my lovely wife. Sounds like a good Friday in. It is. It's always a good Friday in because <laughs> we're in lockdown. Not uh, yeah, technically not. Yeah, there's that's that's the bigger problem, I guess. Um, but we play a game where um, I will pour my lovely wife a drink. Um, and she has to guess what whiskey it is out of all the whiskeys that we've got. And I will occasionally throw her a curveball by mixing two of our whiskeys together, making a nice blend, um, as a former bartender, I know I how to do that. You can always pick one of them. Yeah, you can always pick one. Um, pretty cons- like, almost instantaneously, she's like, it's this. Um, and she's almost always right, it's amazing. Um... But the second one is always the difficult one because it's usually whatever is, um, what well, yeah, whatever is more subtle in the in the mix, and uh, she hasn't quite yet gotten it. This so. one's the longest it's ever taken me. Yep. I mean, you haven't been thinking about it as hard. No. But the, it is a thing. It is a thing. This one has stumped you a little. I think it's because it's the same. So I I made another blended one before, and we we put um. The Starwood Twofold with the proper 12. The proper 12 being the very light one. And the and the Starwood being the, the harsher of the two mixes. Um, 
And so I kept the starwood and used a different whiskey this time to kind of trick it. It is Suntory, yeah. It is? Oh, I said that earlier when you, you said You said, it's, it, I'm... It's not, is it? You said, you said, I'm assuming it's not the Suntory, and then moved on. Oh. And so I was so like, I well, I'm not going to correct backwards. you. <laughs> that was me just being a shit. <laughs> that was you being a shit. Must take time to learn, pick the differences. Yeah, it just kind of, yeah, it did just kind of happen. Um... got a good nose for things but also whiskies do have their distinctive flavors so that makes sense um, I think I want this to be a wooden thing so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my pale sepia it is definitely impressive she is impressive I, on the other hand, am a vodka drinker. I have tried most of the vodkas that are available to me. Would um, you be able to get, guess which vodka is which? I'm pretty sure we've only got one vodka in the house at the moment, so we can't really play that. Uh, we've got a few. The other ones are just the more expensive ones. So I tend not to have as many of them. Um... Vodka is a lot harder. I think I could tell the difference between um, some of them, but there's definitely others that would be too similar to each other that I'd be like, I don't know if it's this or this. Um, which I think is reasonable. With something that's supposed to be tasteless. I'm doing dry ciders. You can only tell when you like it or you don't. Hey, yeah, that is... That is absolutely an important discernment that you need to make. Whether you like a drink or not is the most important thing about that drink. Um, ciders are nice. I don't mind a, a cider. I prefer a sweet cider, to be honest. I'm, I'm a sweet drink kind of person. Um, so I've never really understood the dry cider thing, but I guess it, that comes from like a beer end of the scale. Yeah, you like to drink things mixed in Coke. Yeah, I do. I do like straight spirits as well, though. I drink tequila straight. I drink vodka straight. I drink white rum straight. Um, absinthe, Sambuca. I don't like dark spirits. I'm not a fan of dark spirits. I really like mead. Mead is good. Mead is sweet. Mead is sweet. That's why I like it. <laughs> Started with sweet cider, and then your preference switched to dry over the time. Yeah, that's that fair. That happened to me with wine. I mean, when I was very young, <laughs> well, like a child. Very when young. I first, when I first started drinking. <laughs> when I was a three-year-old, and they used to put whiskey in my... <laughs> wine. Um, I used to drink, like, you know, the sweeter wines, but I was poor, and so the house wines were never sweet. So I started drinking dry wine, just because I was buying the cheapest wine whenever I was out. Yeah. And then I just, like, I got used to those flavors, and then I found the actual wines that I liked, and they tend not to be the sweeter ones. Yep, I do yep. like sweet things, though. I like mead. Mm. So the thing with mead as well, um, I've noticed that, like, especially the stuff that's on the market, um, is most of it is quite sweet or it's spiced. Um, you can get some really dry, nice meads, um, but... They are, they tend to be um, much, much higher end, much more expensive, and you can't get a lot of them in Australia. Um, it's more of a European thing. Um, but you can get a full range of meads. Like, mead runs the full gamut that a wine does. Um, so, from dry through to fruity through to very sweet. Um, and then, like, bitey, spicy kind of thing. No, Cog, that is not something that happened. It is very concerning. You have a 15-year-old meat in the cupboard that you've never opened. Oh, that sounds interesting. 
often mixed with other stuff too. So you can, yeah, exactly. Um, and and even when they're brewing them, that like you put a lot of stuff in to to mull the flavors. Um, and you can get some very very nice um, flavor profiles out of it. Um, but that kind of infusion is is the intention of um, is the intention of it, which I think is good. I don't know if this B is too dark. Dark B. I haven't balanced this very well. Slightly unhappy with it, but we'll we'll keep we'll keep muddling on through and see if we can fix it up a little. I think adding some blues and greens to the eye might um and the wings might help this. Went on a Barossa Valley tasting tour 13 years ago, and you bought a few fortified wines you liked. Yeah, fair. That is reasonable. I've never been as much of a wine drinker. It's not, um, it's not really my style. Um, I don't like some. I don't. I don't like bitter things or sour things. So I don't like stuff that's too tanniny. Um, and too dry. I prefer the sweet stuff. And then... We never have sweet wine in the house. And we never have sweet... We have the tanniny stuff. Yeah, we never have sweet wine in the house that isn't tanniny. <laughs> you only ever opened and finished the f one of them and it was good? Mm. I mean, that sounds like the go. That sounds like the plan. Just to, like, get stuff and sit on it. The, the, uh, the one I really want to do is get some good whiskey... Um, and sit on it for a while. Um, maybe potentially look at, like, getting a barrel once we get down to Melbourne and just aging a whiskey ourselves. I think that would be... That would be fun. You like tart, somewhat bitter. Don't like when you can actually taste the hops in cheap beer. Yeah, I fucking hate beer. Um, so many people are like, oh, you know, try these craft beers and try this, you know, try this beer. It's my favorite. And I'm like, I fucking hate beer. That's no, <laughs> give me spirits. And then they try and give you shit. This used to happen all the time. Um, from like literally everyone, men and women and all sorts of things. It would be like, oh, you don't like beer. You're not a real man. And I'm like, fuck you. My drink is way more alcoholic than yours. In the time it takes you to get through one beer, which, what, 1.1 1 .1 standard drinks, maybe? I get through, like, four, five standard drinks. And I can still continue drinking because my stomach isn't bloated with just carb and froth. I feel very passionately about this. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> I don't know, I've just, I've never understood the, like, the obsession with the tartness of, um, of beer. Um, and it's clearly just that my, like, my palate is not set up that way. I am, I'm clearly a sweet palate person. Um, but it, it just, it never makes sense to me. <laughs> there is our Discord, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you would like to join... Um, we are a streaming community, so there is lots of us streamers on there. There is also a bunch of other just friends. Um, we do drinks... Friends. Oh, friends. We do drinks nights on Fridays. We do, um, streams throughout the week. Um, there is usually someone there and something going on. So if you're keen to check that out, um, if you'd like a little bit of company or if you'd like to, you know see what's happening in the world of us. Um, that's the best place to go. There's lots of memes, there's lots of ridiculousness, um, a lot of inappropriateness. Uh, so go and check it out if you like. Just remember that all of the same stream rules apply to the chats and things in the discords. If you are aggressive, bullying, harassing, or inappropriate in a way that is like actually you know, bigoted and discriminatory, um, we'll just kick you out because we don't we don't play that. Um, but if your general inappropriateness is, you know, gallows humor and 
you know, then you'll fit close, right in. close to the line. Yeah, you'll fit right in, because, uh... We're all problem we're, people. We're all a bit messed up as people, um, and we deal with that in lots of different ways. Definitely changes over time, particularly with age, as you so sweet, sweet with... This will make me feel sick later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a thing. Um... I do understand that, <laughs> and, you know, I, I definitely slowed down my drinking of sweet things because, uh, because, yeah, the getting sick later is never fun. Um, but I still have the sweet tooth, even now, yeah. and I'm, and I'm getting up there in the ears. You're not that old. I'm not that old, but I'm, but like... Yeah, you're aging to the point where that would start to kick Yeah. Some people have sweet tooth all their hmm? lives. Oh, my mum does, and she's... Yeah, my mum has a sweet tooth, even now, and I'm... You know, I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. Probably. You love my drinking horn? Oh, let's... Uh, actually, no, let's just... Let's just do this. Oh, no, it's upside down. Okay, let's not do this. I'll do, I'll, I'll do, the, I'll do this one. <laughs> Fuck's sake, there we go. Uh, so this is, this is my drinking horn. It's carved from an actual um, cow's horn. It uh, has a little stand that goes with it, which has some funky engravings. Yeah. Your mum has a sweet tooth for sure. She also has type 2 diabetes. Yeah. Um, I am kind of concerned about diabetes as well, and I don't want to follow in that step. Um, I have been cutting back on my sweet. Um, but also, at the same time, I've been tested for my diabetic insulin-ness. So far, you're fine. And so far, I'm good. So, hey, dodge the bullet. So far. <laughs> Still should probably be careful. Continuing to dodge the bullet. <laughs> I just got tested for diabetes again. Hmm. It's one of the tests they ran today. Hmm. It's, it's, it's a, Very good. It's the second test. It's, is that the second test? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I need to be fasting for it. That's fair. Makes sense. Um, should I put a shadow in this? I'm not sure that I can be bothered. How much extra effort do I want to put into this? I mean, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. I think it might be done. Doing an hour. This is my lovely little bee. It's not amazing. This isn't my best bee. It's not my best work. I mean, but I like it. Nice. It is very nice, but it's no storm in a bottle. Well, yeah, storm in a bottle was clearly your best. That work one. So far. That one was really good. Or the ivy. I really liked the ivy. Why do I draw on the back of a box? So the reason I draw on the back of the box is that I take this box away. Um, you now can't see anything because of how my camera works. So it will not autofocus to something that far away. So I put this little box here so that I can get slightly more detail. And then if I pull it up even so higher... I put another box on here, and you can see even more detail, and then if I put it up even higher again, you can see even more detail. The problem is, is I can't draw up here, because it wrecks my arm, because it's actually above where my heart is, and so after about 20-30 minutes of drawing at that height, um, I lose all feeling in this hand. Um, so instead, I don't. So, um, chest height is about here, um, which is comfortably just above this. I could probably have another box, or I could have a box that's in between these two, which would actually be probably better. But this is the box I had on hand, so. Um, actually pro tattoo box. I should use my tattoo box, is yeah. what I really should do. Oh, queerly tattooed! Thank you for the raid! Thank you for coming in. How was your stream? How are you doing? Oh, our raid boss is almost down. You use a DSLR for that reason, you want zoom and focus manually. Hey, raid time. Spam some bees for the raid. For our lovely raiders. Um, I'm sorry raiders, you've come in kind of at the end of my stream a little. Um, but we'll see about potentially extending this maybe a little. I don't know what else I'm going to do here. Maybe I'll just show off some art for a little bit and then we can... Uh, Hey, indeed, young sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the shout out to 
Quilly tattooed, Cog. My lovely mods. Little baby raid. No, that's a great raid. Six people is plenty. Six people is more than I had in here. <laughs> uh, so, thank you very much for the raid. What were you doing? What were you streaming? You hope you had a good stream. They were playing Null. Thank you for the follow, indeed, young sir. There you go, that works. I was gonna like- I was just about to say, I don't think that worked because they weren't playing anything. Um, is that the right person? I don't think that worked, Cog. Let's have a look. Um, really? Tattoo? Let's try this. It might just be that because the young underscore is there, it gets confused and it doesn't know how to. Uh, boop, 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 boop. There we go. Playing Dead by Daylight. There is Quilly Tattooed. Go and check them out, my lovely friends. Dead by Daylight. Very cool. I, um. I'll be honest, I haven't played any Dead by Daylight. Is it any good? worth checking out. We have been doing our Drawtober stream. Um, it's been, to be honest, a quiet one because um, I'm tired after a week worth of teaching. Appropriate for the month, absolutely. We've been doing some Spooktober games. We've been doing Diablo. I'm going to be doing um, uh, Black Book. I'm going to be doing... Uh, what's it called? Darkest Dungeon. Some other ones as well. We've been doing a little bit of Valheim, which is not quite spoopy, but there's some spoopy elements to it. But yeah, so we we have been doing Drawtober, um, and I'll show off for the for the lovely raided people who are coming in um, what we have done previously, um, because I have actually just finished today's prompt. Um, there's a kitty. There's me orange. All right, so we started off with an orange. Which is not particularly... I'm gonna get the box. The tattoo box. Here is my tattoo box. So that you guys can actually see the things properly. There we go, there we go. It's fun if you like asymmetric games. Asymmetric games, as in... Uh, uh, like semi-co-op, but like one team versus another and they're not balanced. Is that... I don't know the gaming terms, I'm not... I'm a bit of a faux gamer. <laughs> anyway, so our first prompt was, was orange. Um, I'm doing two prompts uh, all through October. Um, so I'm doing a tattoo one, tattooba, and I'm doing drawtober as well. So we did orange. This is our lovely orange here. One killer, four survivors. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, then we have mushroom, which was day two. Um, I was quite proud of this one, actually. Giggling in the background there, Lizzie Bell. It's entirely unrelated. That's fair. I'm not gonna bother sharing it with you. No, no, that's fair. Um, and then we had uh, this one, which was... Oh, what was the prompt? Uh, da, 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 da. I've got to remember. Yeah, well, you know. Pokemon gaming is not the same as, like, gaming gaming. I mean, that's not true, but like, you, you get the idea. Anyway, dragon, drag, this is dragon. Obviously, <laughs> makes sense. Toasty, yeah, there we go, toasty. Um, the prompt was dragon. Um, then we had glowing. Um, I quite liked this one. This is based on, um, I was playing Book of Travels, which is this uh, new indie game, and I'm super into it at the moment. Um, uh, it's very different from all the other games that I played before, and so I was like, "Oh yeah, I totally want to draw something from it." So I, this is this is that. I went a little overboard, um, but I liked it. Um, then we had Ivy, which was the next one, which is quite good. I thought that one turned out quite well. I like these leaves. I don't like this one in particular, but all the rest I of them are great. Least favorite leaf. I have a least favorite leaf in this artwork. I actually have two. 
but one of them is a problem and the other one is fine. What's the second one? The second get? one I don't like is this little one in the back here because it is actually the other side of the leaf. So it is it is colored correctly. It just looks out of place, and so I don't like it. No, I like it. But I know it. I know it actually fits in the thing, so You're it's fine. So silly. I know I'm terrible, but this one doesn't work because the uh, the browning is too too thick. It could just be a dying leaf. It could just be a dying leaf. We've got a dying leaf down here. Um, this one is, I think, so far my best. Uh, storm, a lovely storm in a bottle. Um, I really liked doing this one. Um, <laughs> Sounds like your mum talking about the kids. Oh That's a little rough. I like this one, but not that one. This one didn't quite turn out right. <laughs> yeah, that actually kind of does sound like some, some parents I've met before. I am a high school teacher, by the way. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to become a magic item in our D&D &D world. We have a D&D &D world um, that we are doing all sorts of things in. Oh, God. Way too many things. Uh, anyway, so so this will become a magic item in that game, um, and a viz rep for that. Um, for those who don't know, sorry, I'm all over the place today. I'm tired. I'm I've had a it's little a to drink. Week. It's been a long week. This is who I am. My name is New World Artist. I'm an artist. I'm an educator. I'm a storyteller. I'm a little bit of everything. Um, I do variety streams, so I play games. We stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm doing Drawtober, so I'm streaming every single f***ing day. Um, and it's awful, but I'm loving it. Um, so if you're keen for that, feel free to give us a follow. Um, this was the next one. Skull! Everybody have a drink, if you've got one. Uh, also... Uh, the, 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 Self-care. Make sure you're looking after yourselves. Hydrate. Have something to eat. Have a rest if you need it. Raiders who have just come in, having watched a full stream, you probably need something. Don't you have a drink prompt? Mm-hmm. For Skull? Yeah. Yeah, I should probably change it to Skull, actually. You should. There we go. There's my drink. It's time to have a drink. Everybody have a drink. Um, if you would like to buy me a drink, because I'm an alcoholic, there's my link to my Kofi. You do not have to. This is... I don't expect any money for anything I do. It's just a nice occasion. Um, so, this is... Uh, yesterday's prompt was Pebble. For those... This is Pebble the puppy. Uh, so this was a memoriam for our, our recently lost puppy. Who is an angel. Um, and then today's one, which is sweet. Um, so this is a lovely bee that we're doing on a little honey pot. Um, I did a small one because, you know, low energy today. Taught all week. Tired. I'm a bit mongy. Um, but I'm going to show you also my Tatoba prompts. <sighs> I'm basically just prolonging the stream now because we've had a raid. Um, otherwise, I, otherwise I would have just already raided out to somebody else. Um, because we have actually technically finished the artwork we were doing today. Okay, so, uh, tattoo stuff. I'm gonna flip over to the next page just because I don't want to ruin this artwork. I haven't taken a picture of it yet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright, so we've got Angel. A nice angle there. Um, still getting to grips with the, um, Tattoo gun, my needle fucked up halfway through, so some of it doesn't work quite as well as the other one. Daddy Hastor. Well, we can look at Daddy Hastor in a second. Um, the next day was bug, so I did a lovely scarab beetle. That one turned out really well. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this is all done on silicon skin. It has a beepus, yeah. Look at that. Um, for artistic drawings, um, we keep the nudity in because I think that is appropriate. And as an educator, you're allowed to do that as long as you can justify that it's for educational purposes. So I'm going to keep it in. Um, but terms of service also... A bit funny about those things. Um, kids still these days are playing the penis game where you try and say penis louder than the other people in the class over the course of a lesson. Um, and usually that ends up pretty quick when I 
yell penis louder than the rest of the students and say, yeah, it's not that funny. It's just a <laughs> word. Stop being obsessed with it. Um, then we have necklace. I'm not particularly happy about how this one turned out. I think the colors are great, but um, some of the details, I didn't plan ahead. I just kind of scratched them in and they don't look as good. I'm not if particularly happy. If you all happy. can't um, figure it out by now, Artis is very self-critical about his art. <laughs> I might be, I might be. You've never played that game that it sounds like fun. Hey, you know, you could give it a go. Um, unfortunately, it loses some of its uh, fun when you're old enough to realize that actually saying penis doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, and so it's not actually as naughty as you think but it is. But Cub's still quite young. So. Uh, yeah, true, actually. Still a baby. <laughs> so this was um, Stars, which was our next prompt. Sorry, that one was Necklace, uh, if you didn't guess. Um, this one was Stars, so I did a lovely constellation piece. Um, I really like this one. Yeah, every every artist ever is their biggest critic. That's how how, how artists work. Except Salvador Dali, who was like super full of himself and was like, "Yeah, I'll just sign a piece of paper and give you that." Uh, Lizzie Bell is practicing yes. to become a pianist. She is. She's also a writer, a novelist, a poet, I'm uh, a nurse by trade, a musician. She is also an accomplished artist. I am not. You've been paid? I've sold one, two, two artworks. There you go. You're an like accomplished artist. <laughs> um, and then this is Oak, which is the latest one I've done. I'm still behind by three days. Blood, Card, and Stone are next. I will be doing them tomorrow on stream. Um, so if you're keen to see that, come and check us out later. Uh, and then... I don't know. Is there anything else you guys want to see, or should I just... Should I just... Raid out to someone? I don't know. I don't know. Many of Michael <laughs> Michelangelo was still full of himself. Yeah. There you go. James B. Barrow is still on. Oh, by the way! Hmm? Oh, Daddy Hastor. Okay. We can find Daddy Hastor. I was just going to show you, uh, this is the original... This is what the tattoo piece was actually supposed to be. Um, so you can see the difference between my tattoo skill currently versus my uh, my regular drawing skill. But we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Uh, one day I'll be able to do something that good on peoples. All right, Daddy Hastel. Let's see if we've got a version of Daddy Hastel somewhere around here. Um, actually, let's open back up to the page, just so you've got something to look at while I sift through all my artworks. Right here. A beautiful daughter puppy is just giving me looks like, why are you yelling? Why are you still awake? Why you s yeah, why are you still awake? Why are you yelling? Go to bed. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, if you would like to check out my Instagram, it is in the link down below. If you would like to check out my About Me section, there's some stuff about me, surprisingly. Um, we are... <laughs> I'm such a shit. Um, yeah, I am. I don't think it's in this one, so I'll just show you a lovely heart while we're waiting. Um... Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's a suggestion box down below, so if you'd like to see anything in particular... Your foster kitties are being woken up for their feed. Oh, adorable! You foster kitties? That's so good. Good on you. Uh, I have one picture of Daddy Hastor, but it's, um... It's the wanted poster, so I don't know if... That's the right picture for this. I have so many fucking maps in this book. Jesus. Oh, here's my old- This is last year's Drawtober. Hey, hey. Sorry, guys. This is, uh... Going a bit slower than I would otherwise like. Oh, but there's lovely bees. Bees! Bees! So many bees. We like bees here, because my wife is 
a swarm of bees I in a human am, suit. I am human. <laughs> there we go. There's Daddy Hastor. Wanted for crimes. Um, da, 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 da. these ones are hardly a week old, so they need frequent bottle feeds. Wow. Good on you. Ripley, Jonesy, and Binks. Oh, that's so cute. This stream is sponsored by Lizzie Bell. She's definitely human. I am 100% human. <laughs> I'm sure I have another picture of Daddy Hatstore somewhere. No, not in that one either. All right, it's just, it's, sorry, Tia. Stop freaking out. It's just not here. Bees! All right, let's go back to the bees. I like the bees. That's the best buddy, Mora. Yeah, uh, that, that might be, um, that might be an overstatement slightly. Um, if you have bees, if you have access to bees, um, whether it's by someone else's chat or mine. Spam some bees. Happily, Happily spam bees. Alright, we're gonna go and um, have a have a raid into another bee aficionado. Um, another great fan of the bees. Mr. James B. Barrow. Um, if you know him, he is uh, a very awesome uh, digital artist. He is also um, a quite good traditional artist as well, though he he does the same thing I do, essentially. So let's take a picture of, of this. It's going to go up on the Grums. The IG, as the kids call it. I don't know if that's actually what they call it. I'm not hip with the kids, guys. It will surprise none of you to learn. A teacher is not hip with the kids. Uh, so we'll set this up uh, to go onto Instagram. And then we'll uh, and then we'll raid into our friend. Our be obsessed friend. That looks like the one. This one better? Oh, it's slightly better. So Laurie, just looking at the quality of the pictures. Yeah, let's go with that one. Boop, boop, doo. I hope everybody has had a wonderful day. Some of your teachers were very good. I actually got into the teaching profession. Um, I don't know if you want to hear anything of this, but I'm going to tell you. Um, I actually got into teaching because my art teacher was so shit, like, legitimately so shit, that I was like, fuck it, I could be a better teacher than this. Um, and so and that's- And you went back and taught at the same school. Yeah, I went back and taught at the same school, underneath her, she was head teacher, and I taught underneath her, and then she was so terrible that she actually got stepped down, she asked to- asked to have- like, uh, the, the principal was like, hey, we need you to step down from head teacher role so that we can bring in someone better than you. Um, and I was there at the time, and I was like, yes! Perfect reason to be a teacher. Just pettiness and awful shit. <laughs> um, but the reason why um, she was so awful, and I don't know if there is an equivalent in the various countries that you may all be from. Um... But we have what's called the HSC here. It's your major exam at the end of the entirety of your schooling. So after 12 years worth of schooling, um, or 13 technically, um, you do you do major exams and that's what lets you get into university. Um, she would regularly... Um, like, fix people's artworks for their assessment task. Um, these assessment tasks... Uh, marked by external markers and you cannot like no one else can do it except for you you have to you have to be the only one working on this artwork she would ah uh, VCE there you go perfect so for your VCEs you would you would make a final work a body of work um, she would regularly throw out canvases or works that she thought she she didn't like or thought thought weren't good enough or she'd go in and paint over the top of other people's works to improve them 
She's not a good artist at all. She didn't become an art teacher because she was an artist first. She just became an art teacher. Um, and so she would very regularly ruin students' work. Like, completely destroy it. They, they were looking at getting maybe, uh, like, high 80%, 90% worth of marks. And she would drop them down to a 70 or a 60 because she would go in and ruin their work like day literally days before submission um and it and it happened quite a few times and it specifically happened to me and i was like right this is the last fucking straw i am going to become a teacher so that i can stop something like this from ever happening again um and i did because she tried to do it to someone else's work and i was like do not touch that you are legally not allowed to and if you do that, I'm going to go to Nessa, the Board of Education, and have you fucking fired. Uh, today's prompt was sweet. Uh, and I think we are now ready. Okay, so I've got, I've got my, uh, my, my thing ready to post. Um, we are going to... Sorry, I need to just look over here so I can get... James's thing up. That's not what I clicked on. Back to Twitch. We'll open up James's stream, make sure that he's still around. Oh, he's playing Satisfactory. That's alright. We can watch a Satisfactory stream, I think. Oh, that's just, that's just wonderful. This is, what this is, it's just wonderful. Oh, what an adorable man. Alright. Um, we're gonna go raid James. Um, I'm just going to double check, actually, before, before I commit to this. Is there anybody else I want to... No, Mao's already stopped streaming, that's fine. Because otherwise it would be Mao. I, I, I haven't raided him in a little while, and I feel like I should. Alright, we're going to raid into James. Um, remember to spam your bees in the chat if you have them. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. You're all awesome. Look after yourselves. Much, much, much love. Uh, so, for my peeps, here is our raid thing. You can just copy and paste that, or you can make your own if you like. Um, we're going to leave with a self-care, because that's super important. Looking after yourselves is the most important thing. Uh, the Discord is in... Oh, actually, I'll just chuck the Discord in now. Um, if you would like to catch up with us any point in time, I'm streaming every single day. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing drinks again. Um, we do Friday night drinks on Discord. Everybody is welcome to come and join. Um, so if you're feeling like you want some company, you're welcome to come. Um, so I think we're ready for our raid. Thanks for joining us. You're the best. Bye-bye.